Hello everybody! Today we've come somewhere very exciting. This is somewhere that we wanted to visit for a very long time. Chateau de Pierrefonds or Camelot from Merlin. Just look at the size of this thing. It is massive. This place is way bigger than we thought. Bigger than it seems on the series actually. And it's in a beautiful little place, Pierrefonds. It's really picturesque. So, so happy that it's a nice sunny day, if a little cold. This place is just enormous. It's a really long walk around to get to the entrance as well. Although there's been a castle on this site and since the medieval times, this one was rebuilt in 1857. And it is sort of an idealized version of the medieval castle. Oh, wow. Wow. So exciting for us. It's such a busy place. Oh, take a look at this view. Amazing. The autumn colours as well just really add to the atmosphere. Through the gate. Oh, yes. Look at this place. Often Uso would stand up there and order the execution of anyone suspected of practicing magic. So many times the characters of Merlin and Arthur would be seen sitting on these steps and looking out across the courtyard. <laughs> it's so magnificently grand in here. I can definitely see why this has been chosen to to use as Camelot. It is like stepping into a fairy tale. It's amazing. Wow. Look at that. view out to the courtyard. I feel like a child stepping into my favourite series. It's just amazing. I think the colour of the stonework in here really adds to the grandeur. If we come through here. So many weird figures in here. I've got a griffin here, of course. And this thing is pretty large. So 
actually hardly anybody here today. We're virtually to ourselves. Ooh, that's high. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It's so magnificent. All the stained glass as well. It's beautiful. Amazing ceiling. And the height. It's quite something. And all the stained glasses. Lovely. The reception room. So brightly painted. This, of course, in the medieval times, bright colours were found everywhere. Quite something. Another room, all painted out. Stained glass really just continues the colours of the wall. And the ceiling. Beautiful carvings in the woodwork as well. Of course, something rather necessary to every good home. Coming from this room. Into yet another brightly painted room. Right from the ceiling and this amazing fireplace. Images all around, around the room. More steps. Where do they lead? Something so interesting about exploring a castle like this. Apart from the connection with Merlin, this place is just so interesting anyway. We love castles, so we'd have wanted to visit Merlin or not. Added bonus though, that our favourite series was filmed here. I think I might know what room is coming up next. Wow. This. But first, a quick look at this fireplace, the helmet. Another work of art. Everything in this place is a work of art, actually. So spectacular. The coronation room. It is so enormous in here. It's always the free. Kind of like ice skating. Just look at all the details. All carvings here are amazing. I think it's about time I took my rightful place as Queen Guinevere of Camelot. <laughs> that would be nice. Okay, check out some of these details. There is literally a castle above his head. And we have some armour. No need to bow, good sir knight. We are like so overexcited right now. This is just such an amazing place. I can't believe I'm allowed to film in here. That is so cool. Now we have the wall walk. The great view over the town. You see another chateau over there over the other side of the water. 
Emperor Napoleon III wanted to turn Pierrefonds into an imperial residence, but it was never actually achieved, and so instead became a museum. But you can certainly see why he would have wanted to do that. Down to the Camelot Dungeons. Now, just come down the stairs, which of course, in the series of Merlin, led to the, to the dungeon. But in the actual Chateau de Pierrefonds, it leads to something rather more creepy. Replicas of the dead. Wow. It feels more like um, an episode of Doctor Who with the weeping angels. It's almost like a mix, actually. Don't blink. Oh, wow. It's like the dead are all whispering. But my French is really bad, so I don't understand what they're saying. Oh, face is appearing. They're probably telling us to run for our lives. This is truly eerie. Méchante nuit d'hiver, nuit fille de cossite, que la terre engendra dans ce là de laisseur. Serpente d'alecton et fureur des fureurs, n'approchez de mon lit ou bien tournez plus vite. Que fait dans le soleil où j'ai I am actually a little bit scared right now. I realize I'm hardly breathing. I'm literally waiting for them to come to life. They're watching us. figures inside that room were from Versailles originally and were commissioned by King Louis of France and they are people who contributed to the greatness of the French. It's pretty creepy. And another hall. <sighs> Bonjour. This walkway was used so many times in the series. It's probably one of the most familiar parts of the castle, actually. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you ever get a chance to visit Chateau de Pierrefonds, not far from Paris, take the opportunity. It is well worth it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel for lots more of these videos. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.